Hi, everybody. Jeff Reinhardt here with you. Two-minute drill time for Mannheim Central against West Allegheny. This is a PIAA AAA state semifinal game. Friday night, road trip, uh, Altoona. The game will be played at Mansion Park Stadium on the other end of the state. If you can't make it to Altoona, uh, I'll be making the drive, and I'll be coming to you live online at LankSports.com. So if you can't make it out there, come and find me. I'll get you updates from the game, analysis, scoring updates, try to get some scores from around the state, questions and comments, and all that good stuff. So if you cannot make it to Altoona on Friday night, I'll be out there for you online, LankSports.com. Come and find me. Twelfth. 12th AAA state semifinal appearance for Mannheim Central, which is an incredible number. This is the 12th time Central will be playing to get to a state championship game, which is pretty amazing. Uh, Central's been there two times before. They won it all in 2003. They beat Pine Richland, and they lost in 2004 to Thomas Jefferson. Both of those teams were Whippy old teams, District 7. So um, the mystique of District 7, and they're very proud of that conference out there. And when you talk Pennsylvania State football, Wow, uh, Whippeals mentioned right away. So we have a Whippeal against an LL here for the third time uh, for Central. Third time they'll see a Whippeal team, and West Allegheny's a good one, and they have one of the absolute best players in the state. Uh, Mike Caputo's his name. He's a running back. He's a junior, and he's tough. Uh, 2,500 rushing yards and 33 rushing touchdowns. I think he has 36 total touchdowns and just about 3,000 all-purpose yards. This kid's a player. I know he was dinged up a bit last week uh, in their state quarterfinal game against Erie Cathedral Prep, but he still rushed for over 130 and a couple of touchdowns. Um, they'll run a Wildcat. That's their basic package. Uh, Caputo is listed as a running back, but he will take pretty much 90% of the snaps back there. He'll be in the shotgun behind center, and he'll take direct snaps, and he'll go. That's their base offense. Uh, Jared Buck, the quarterback, does have some good numbers. And actually, last week, um, when Caputo went down, Buck came in and passed uh, for over 150 yards and a couple of scores and completed 10 of 12 passes. So uh, pretty much if Buck is in the game taking snaps, they're going to try to spread it and throw the ball. But like I said, probably the other 90% of the time, Caputo is going to be back there as the Wildcat back, taking snaps and going. Uh, five Whippeal titles now for West Allegheny. Uh, they beat Hopewell in the final this year out there. They knocked off Thomas Jefferson earlier in the playoffs. TJ was number one in the state and undefeated and the reigning state champs uh, when West Allegheny knocked them off. So uh, Indians are uh, on a nice ride here. Uh, good winning streak, playing well. Also have a really good coach, Bob Palco. He's been around for a while, 15 years for Mr. Palco. You might be familiar with his son, Tyler. Played at West Allegheny, played at Pitt, and now he's a quarterback for the Steelers. So football family. Uh, Palco knows the ropes. Uh, interesting matchup. He'll be going up against Coach Williams, who's up to 301 career wins now. Central beat Susquehanna Township in the district final last week for their uh, 16th District 3 AAA championship. Amazing game up at Hershey Park. And as mentioned, Central's going back to its 12th state semifinal. Uh, Barons are playing well, particularly uh, defensively, still giving up only just around 200 yards a game. Six shutout wins, and those guys will definitely be tested this week with Mr. Caputo. That's it, right there. That's the crux, that's the matchup, uh, that's the game plan. Uh, Got to take care of West Allegheny's uh, Wildcat offense and uh, try to limit this Caputo guy who has 2,500 yards. Wow. Uh, can Central pull this off and get back to the state final for the first time since 04? Gut Hunch says yes. Uh, love the way Central's going right now. Their offense is still mighty scary. Joe Gruber had just a tick under 200 rushing yards and three touchdowns the other night against Susquehanna Township. Gorman has been ultra steady. They're not turning the ball over. He's got a bunch of playmakers, and Mike Williams has been saying to me and anybody else within earshot for the last couple of weeks, sky's the limit. He said he loves this team, a lot of vibes from 0304 range, and this he just kind of senses that this team can do some things, and this is a special unit. So, without sounding like a complete homer, uh, I think the Barons get it done here. Uh, they've always done a great job with big backs and shutting down a big back. They just saw Ben Dupree last week who was in the shotgun doing a lot of wildcat things. And I know Ben had a big game, but he's a super player. So I think Central finds a way to curtail Mr. Caputo and uh, finds a way to pull this out. So uh, I'll go Barons here. Sorry, Homer pick, but uh, 
I've seen them a lot lately, and I really like the way they're playing right now, and this group is focused. I'll take Mannheim Central over West Allegheny. Barons march on. We'll go to the state final. Don't forget, LankSports.com Friday night. If you can't make it to El Tuna, I'll get you updates there at LankSports.com. Barons over Indians.